morning welcome to my stamp studio so today's class is actually um, a pre-recorded video as I'm on vacation this week and we are spending some time at the State Fair so while you're watching this we're going to be filling our faces with cream puffs or whatever not really but we are gonna go see a concert tonight so yeah just gonna go out and have some fun and um, I'm gonna get started on tonight's class so we are gonna be featuring Uh, featuring the stamp set, <laughs> the Charming Duck Pond, and also we'll be combining it with our uh, Country Woods Designer Series paper. Now, I know that seems rather peculiar, and sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera a little bit there. Um, this, this wooded paper really makes for some really great masculine cards, so that's why I chose this for tonight. Um, I do have our class in the mail, which will be featuring the Charming Duck Ponds and the um, Lily Pond Lane Designer Series paper. And I'll give you a quick sneak peek of that. That will be opening up next week. Registration for that is next week. So I'll just show you a little sneak peek here at some of the projects you'll be making. You'll be making five cards and you will also be making a little gift box. One of the cards is actually a fun fold. So let's just get these kind of out of the way here, but it's using the same set. Um, I also am going to be announcing tomorrow the Changing Leaves uh, Craft Along. So I'm going to move this out of the way while I bring in the Craft Along, and that will be announced tomorrow. So if you're not on my email list, get on my email list. So that is where I do a Facebook Live, and I load it up to YouTube. And you craft right along with me. You get a kit in the mail if you choose to go that route. And you will get all the card supplies. In fact, let me just pull them out. All the card supplies that you will need to complete your kits. To put your cards. You will need the stamp set and the um, dies. Anything that's not part of that um, bundle will be done for you. So that's the Changing Leaves, which is one of our new online exclusives. Um, it includes the bundle that it comes with, includes this awesome hybrid cutting embossing folder, and it includes the dies that come with this stamp set. So this is going to be our craft along. So the dies that come with this, you've got a set of dies. This die will actually fit right into this folder. So when you die cut, you can see I've been doing a lot of work with it. When you die cut, and the craft, craft along will show you tips and tricks on how to use everything. So you actually, on the top plate here where it has a Stampin' Up! logo, you set that right in. It kind of, it doesn't snap into place, but it fits snugly into place. And then you run your um, cardstock through your embossing machine. And what this will do is it'll emboss and die cut at the same time. So don't miss out on that. I'll have more to come. I'll do a little video on that. Just a little bit more about the craft along. All right. So we're going to get started with today's projects. And um, I will also be pulling in the timber 3D embossing folder and stylus shapes as well as I'm going to be using some of the shapes from our um, Changing Leaves um, bundle. So these will be done for you in the class. Um, the embossing will be done. The die cuts with the stylus shapes will all be done for you. The only thing that you will need to have is you will need to have the Charming Ducks bundle. And you will also need to have the coordinating dies with that. All right, so if you want to make the cards as designed tonight. So what I am doing here is I am offering this card class. You get three card kits, everything all prepped up for you. As a thank you from me for placing a $35 order in my online store. And I will be putting in the host code at the end of this video so that you know um, where to submit your $35 order. And that's before shipping tax and any bonus coupons you have. So make sure you use your bonus coupons. Um, and I will send you this kit again for free as my thank you to you. So let's get started on the cards. Our first card here is going to be this sweet little, um, like I said, masculine card. I just really thought 
I needed to do some more masculine cards. I mean, we all need them, right? So in your card kit here, I'm just going to put this off to the side. I have a piece of gray granite. Now also with your um, card kit gift, I also send you a PDF tutorial. All right. So you have a piece of basic white, which is four by five and a quarter. That's for the inside of your card, all right? Uh, you have a piece of that Country Woods designer series paper, and this measures four by five and a quarter. You'll have a piece of mossy metal, which you're gonna be using to die cut uh, out your background. You'll have a piece of early espresso to cut your ducks out with. You'll have your gift tape, your little label here, all die cut for you. And you'll have a piece of um, basic white paper to do your stamping on. So let's get started here. Let's start with our stamping. So I'm going to be pulling in my early espresso ink. And let me get my first stamp here. So let's go ahead and we're going to mount our duck. So we're going to be using this duck right here. We're going to stamp our duck in early espresso. Just like that. Now I would recommend with this stamp set um, using a mat. Just because when you're filling in, it just works better. And I'll show you in just a second. So the next stamp pad I'm um, pulling in is my Mossy Meadow. And we're going to do that to fill in some of the feathers there. So I'm taking this particular stamp here. And this is going to fill in some of that coloring. So go ahead and ink that up. Now notice I did the wrong one. I grabbed the wrong body. Hold on. Just need to clean that one off. That'll be used in a different card. I need this little body okay and you'll see what that's gonna look like in just a moment all right so when I do this I'm gonna be looking through where I stamped that detailed image and I'm gonna to try to line up the little duck bill here and then the tummy and the wing I do need to slide this down so I can see it a little bit better when I'm stamping and I'm just gonna go ahead and line that up best I can again I'm trying to um, see through here and just take your time with it. I'd recommend practicing on some scrap paper a couple of times just so you get used to, uh, used to the lining of it. I'm going to bring in my crushed curry marker. Oh, sorry. I'm not using the marker on this one. Oh my goodness. It's like the first time I've stamped. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having challenges like I am, but I am. So I need a stamp block and I'm going to be taking this image right here. I know it looks kind of funky, but it's the beak and the and the feet of the duck. Okay. So I'm just going to drop that onto my work surface, pick it up with my block. That way I know it's sitting flat and it has to be it's in the position it has to be. So I'm going to pull in my gray granite. And again, I'm going to look through my stamp to line up my duck bill and my feet so I can see that early espresso line. And now I can stamp that right in there. All right. Now we're going to pull back in our crushed curry marker. And I'm just going to color in right here. Now, normally I'm a blends girl, but you can actually use the markers pretty well and what I did here is I kind of streaked it a little bit so it kind of looked like feathers all right so then I'm going to die cut that out while I'm die cutting pieces I'm going to show you what other pieces you'll need to die cut so let's just get these blocks clean I'm off to the side here and we'll pull in our die cut machine now I am going to be using the large die cut machine today got my base plate, my number two, my number three, my number three. So I'll be putting this here. And uh, where is my cup machine? Moving this off to the side. The other die that I want to bring in 
is going to be, I might as well just have this setting out. Because we'll be grabbing that quite a bit. All right, we're going to bring in this shape right here. All right. And I've got my label. I need my duck. So this is just going to cut out a solid shape. And then I need my baby duck. And that's all I need for right now. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to turn this so I can have my handle facing me. Open my sides here. And I'm going to bring in that piece of mossy meadow. I'm going to center this, and I'll move this this way here so you can see it better. I'm going to be centering this right on that cardstock. All right. It's really close to the edges there, but just center it as best you can. I'm going to get your duck. So I need to get my little ducky here. We'll get him cut out. Put my top plate on. Oh, I need a couple more pieces here. I have a piece of early espresso in my kit. So I'm just going to move that up a little bit. Turn this one this way. Add that in. Because I need to cut out this duck and the small ducks. Okay. Let's get my plate on there. And we'll just run it through. Oh, I didn't cut my duck very good. He bounced. All right. Let's see. I have the little ducks here. And this one. So just to give you a few more tips on this one. Um, I do need ribbon as well. Ribbon is for the next card. Uh, for this one, you may have to run that through, you know, back and forth. Just in case it doesn't pop out for you. I am going to keep this piece because I didn't like how it looked when it was empty on the card. So I'm gonna glue that piece back in place. So I'm gonna just keep that. This is just a scrap. We have our duck here. Let's get out our take pick tool so we can pop it out of here. Come on. There we go. And now this duck right here, if I were to cut it in two different colors, you would see it better. But this wing pops out. You would set this over, you'll set the little duck over the duck shadow, I'm going to call it. So just like that, if you wanted to create another duck, you can. All right, so I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm just going to actually use this one right here. Oh, you know what? I suppose I could put it on there. We'll just line it up. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my liquid glue here. I'll grab my other take a pick tool. It just makes it easier to pick things up. Flip that over and just put it on right on top. Now, my little duck has a little body and, an, and a beak and an eyeball. Before it didn't have an eyeball. All right, this duck we're going to leave just as is. So let's put these pieces up here for right now. I need to move my cards. There we go. I'll need my dimensionals out, so don't cover those up. Move that out. Okay. Put my die up there. Put this die up there. Okay. We're going to take our... Here we go. Our card layer here. We're going to adhere our designer series paper right to our card front right away. The... Um, die cut mossy metal piece that we have I'm going to be actually popping that up with foam adhesive strips All right, so there's that now I'm bringing my foam adhesive sheets I just put them aside a minute ago so I had them okay so here we go pull that out I'm only going to be using one strip of this, so I'm going to flip this over to the back side 
and pull that off. I need a pair of snips here as I go. So I am just going to first kind of go along the side. Just like that. I'll go along this side. Now I do need a little bit more support around the circle. So I'm just going to cut a small piece here. So we'll cut that piece right here. Now your foam adhesive strips like this are a little bit thicker or taller than your regular um, dimensionals. So keep that in mind. So then we'll just use this whole thing. So again, one sheet of, or one strip, I should say, of the foam adhesive strips. Peel off all the backing. All right, and we'll flip this over and center that right in the middle of our card. All right. Now we'll have our duck. So we'll put our first duck right here. And I said I was going to put this in. So I'm going to actually tuck it in so it sits in behind. So what I'll do to get that in place, I'll actually just take a little glue, liquid glue right there. I'll grab my tick -a pick tool. I'm just going to drop it through that opening. Okay. <clears throat> and it'll kind of fill in. So it gives me a little bit of depth in there. Uh, let's take our ducks here. So let's get Mama Duck in. I'm going to slide it right underneath here. So it'll only go as far as that foam adhesive that I put in there. So keep that in mind when you're putting your foam there. All right. I'm going to take our baby duck here. And I think I want to move this forward a little bit. Put our baby duck just to be kind of kind behind the cattails there. All right. We're going to take our dimensionals here. Oh, actually, I don't need dimensionals for this part. I'm going to just adhere the bottom portion of my duck. Probably add a little bit more. Right to the front here. So he will be over here. All right. Now, if you've got a little bit of glue on the back, you don't want to push down because you don't want him to sit funny. So just let it dry where it is. All right. Next thing we'll do, we need to stamp this. So we're going to stamp our sentiment. And I chose the You Make Me Happy. So I'm going to grab my Mossy Meadow again. And my You Make Me Happy stamp. Now this is gray granite, so it's going to show up nicely on there. So let's go ahead and ink this up. I've got to remind myself to be a little bit lower here. I'm just going to slide down my, there we go. This will tell me more where I'm in frame. That way I don't go out of frame too much when I'm filming this. All right, let's get rid of that extra stuff there. Okay, we'll close that up. I'm going to take two dimensionals. Now again, they are different heights, so keep that in mind where you're placing these. So I'm going to place them more towards the center. We'll peel that off. And I'm going to just put this right inside my circle. Right there, just like that. If I need to tuck it under a little bit, I can. So you make me happy. And now we just need to finish off our card by adding some embellishments. So I'm pulling in the Adhesive Back Swirl Dots. This is part of the Latte Love Suite. But I find these just to be perfect colors for masculine cards. So we're going to go ahead and just put three of these on. So I'll put one down here, one up here, and one more. We'll just go right in there. Okay. Now for the inside of the card, we'll go ahead and grab a piece of basic white, five and a quarter by four, and we're going to put that on the inside. But let's go ahead and stamp another little duck. So we're going to take our 
or the espresso. We'll stamp our duck in the corner here. All right. We'll bring back in our mossy meadow. That's right here. Now one pad is just juicier than the other, so that's why I had two of them out. And we'll go ahead and bring ink this one up. Again, I've got to slide this down so I can see this and get my beak all lined up. Make sure I got my head lined up, the tummy, all that kind of stuff. Right. Oh, that was kind of off. Let's try that again. I'm going to go this way this time. I'm going to start with my darker color here, which is normally what I do. I usually start with a darker color. And then I'll go to my early espresso. Where did I just put that? Here it is. I'll ink this up. This may be an easier way for you to see it. So just look through. Again, I'm going to have to stick my head in here. Okay. Just look through and line up your beak, your head, your back, and your belly here. All right, there we go. So sometimes it's easier to do the body and then this one. So practice on your scrap paper. See what way works for you. Um, we'll go ahead and bring back in our gray granite. And stamp our beak and our feet. Now, you also have to be careful. Don't get ink on here right here because if you do you're going to have a little line right there on your duck. So again I'm just going to look through. I'm going to line the feet up, line the beak up and then I'll stamp it. There we go. What a cute little duck and I had ink on my hand so oh well. All right so that's the inside of my card. in. I'm just going to grab my little ink eraser here and see if I can get those smudges off. Yeah, they came off. Okay. There we go. Now I could color that in or just leave it. Why don't we color it in since we did it in the front. We'll do it in the inside. Now, if you don't have markers, use your blends. Just be aware that if you're using blends with the um, regular ink, it will kind of bleed. So just be careful how much you are blending. Um, or if you're using watercolor pencils, uh, you may want to use stays on ink because that can make that bleed as well. Unless you're just purely coloring and not adding any water. All right, card one. All right, card two. Let me show you what that card looks like. Here is our card two. Now this is the part where I've said I've already done your wood grain embossing. So let's pull out our pieces from here. So I've got a piece of early espresso, eight and a, uh, four and a quarter by 11. I've got a piece of my, what is this called? Misty Moonlight, uh, four and a quarter, four by five and a quarter. So we'll go ahead, we're um, not gonna adhere that yet because we're gonna take our Early espresso, which happened to be five by three and three quarters. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that on to this piece first, and then we're going to use dimensionals and put it on here. I will need to add some ribbon, so we're going to do all that before we actually get those dimensionals on there. Now, because this is so textured, I'm making sure that I'm adding enough glue, especially trying to get to my edges there, so that when I center this down... I have a little bit of wiggle room, but I can really get that pressed down and it will stay flat. All right, so let's bring in our ribbon here. Now I do not include ribbon in the kits, just so you're aware. All right, so I'm gonna grab a piece that's, oh, I don't know, seven, eight inches. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie a knot. I don't know why I can't tie a knot. All of a sudden I can't tie a knot. What is going on? And we're just 
gently going to pull that. Decide what side you like better. I'm going to bring in our scissors here. And our crafting's best friend, our scotch tape. So decide where you want that. Hold it in place. Flip your card over. I like to do one side first. Make sure that's where I actually wanted it. I could go a little higher with it, but we'll just leave it. And then I have the other piece right here. All right. So I'm just taping that in place so it doesn't fall off. Now I'm going to bring back in my dimensionals. And I'm going to make sure my center here is supported. And we'll put this right onto our card front. Now, I probably will not have time to uh, actually get all the supplies listed, um, but I'll make sure to get that in an email out tomorrow. So again, make sure that you're part of my email list so that you get all that. All right, now i got to find my other pieces here. So I've got that one. I missed my... I missed that piece. Hmm, where did that go? Oh, please, I got another one. So I'm using my two and three eighths inch circle punch here, and you're going to have a piece of your designer series paper, which, well, for heaven's sake, I guess I'll just have to use this. Well, this will actually, I'll punch this out for you so you have that, so you don't even have to worry about it. That's going to be going here. Um, the other things I have to stamp are going to be, where's my sheet of paper? I have two pieces of basic white. They're both five by five and a quarter by four. And one's for the inside of your card, one is for your stamping. So we're going to get our stamping going here. I'll move these out of the way. And the first thing that we're going to stamp is, actually we're going to clean some of our blocks off here so I can stamp and bring back in my mat as well all right so let's clean my I'm not going to be using the duck and the beaks I do want to get this clean because my block had green on it so I don't want that on there uh, we're going to be using the brown for that so put these two pieces away Oh, I know why I didn't have the white. Sorry, this was for the other card. This is the piece of white that you'll have for your um, ducks. You'll be able to fit both on. We're actually going to be stamping on our designer series paper. That's why I didn't have a larger sheet in there. All right, so we're gonna take this right here, which is the um, cattails. And then we also have another shape here, which is going to fill in the cattails. I'm going to, what I found works for me is I stamp these first, I die cut it, and then I do the cattails. I just found that it works much easier for me. So I'm going to bring in my my uh, Mossy Meadow again. I've got all these envelopes over now. So I'll go ahead. I'm going to do all my stamping and then I'll come back and do my die cutting. So I'm going to stamp. You have enough for three. So I am going to stamp three because sometimes I goof up and I want to make sure that I have it. All right, so that's that piece. We're going to bring in Misty Moonlight and our early espresso again. Really trying to stay with more masculine earth tones um, to kind of go with these cards that we're doing. Let's get all these scraps out of the way. So let's move this one to the side. We'll open up our early espresso and we'll open up our misty moonlight. Oh, I need to put that stamp away. Okay. All right, uh, let's grab our duck. 
so we're going to be stamping two different ducks here. So I've got the one like we stamped before. So I've got one. All right. Then I'm going to stamp the other outline of the other duck, which is this one. I can actually clean this piece, this off right now and put that away so I can use that block. All right, so I'll stamp that in early espresso as well. I'm kind of stamping them a little further apart just in case I need to flip it over and do it again. All right, so there we go. Put that one away. We're going to bring in the body for this duck that we just stamped. All right, so I'm going to stamp this in Misty Moonlight. I need to move stuff out of the way. All right. So I'm going to look through, again, this one is a little more, because the color is so dark, you may actually want to stamp that first. So I'm just going to grab another piece here. And I'm going to stamp that first. And then I'll pull, pull that in that same body. Hopefully it fits on one of my smaller blocks. Does not. All right. There early espresso. I can actually look through and see that much better now. It's just a little bit easier to stamp your image. So that turned out much better than it was going to had I done it that way. All right. So we'll use that one. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, hot mess over there. And we're going to restamp this one. Again, we're going to stamp our inside and then we'll stamp our details. So let's get this piece put away. We'll come back in with this again with our Misty Moonlight. Um, I'll stamp it right here. We'll come back in with our correct stamp. Early espresso. I'm going to look through it. I need to move it down so I can line it up. Sorry, my head's in the way. All right. Oh, I don't like how that turned out. Well, we'll try doing it this way. All right. Oh, that didn't turn out either. Okay. So again, sometimes you do need scrap paper. I'm really going to put my head in here this time. There. Well, I'm not getting it as nicely lined up as I want. Okay. Again, I'm moving it down. You probably won't see it just because I do want to get this lined up. All right, that's a little better. Okay. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to just close those, my marker again. And I'm just going to take my marker and color the beak. So I'm concentrating here so I stay in the lines. Come over here. Oh. This is again crushed curry. I don't know why my crushed curry is so dark, but it is. Oh, that's because it's not crushed curry. Okay, well, um, you want to use crushed curry? This happened to be an old bumblebee. I don't know why I don't have crushed curry in there. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Well, I guess 
else I'm still going to have to use because I don't know where my, my real crushed curry went and I just need a color for now. So, okay. So there we go with that one. That one's done. We're going to die cut those. We're going to die cut this and then we'll come back in and stamp that. Let's get some of our stuff cleaned up here. I only have a couple blocks on hand right now. I have another class I need to do a video on and so those are all mounted over in my other area. So for right now I'm just going to throw these guys right here. I need that one. Alright. Bring in our die cut machine. Right, we need our dies. Which I put where? I moved them out of my way so it won't be all over the place. Alright, here we go. Let's get our plates in order there. This one, and I'm going to pull in this die. I'm going to get that lined up. I'm going to bring in my ducks. Tear some of that paper off so I can fit them all at one time. All right, so this is this duck. Now, if you're worried, if your plate is kind of warped or it jumps around, grab yourself some post it note tape or washi tape. So you can hold it in place. Right. And All right, let's just cut this paper down so I can just get the one duck. with my other cattail pieces. Again, I like to be able to cut an extra one because I know that if I'm not holding this down, I probably didn't cut it really well. The other thing when you're um, going to stamp this, I have found, instead of trying to line up when I'm just stamping it and I'm not going to be die cutting it, I can line up the cattails by looking at the top and the stem. So I'll show you what I mean by that. But I have also found that this is a much better way, at least for me, um, to stamp this. Especially if I'm die cutting it out. Alright, so let's pull in our three little cattails here. Sorry, I need to lower my table again. All right, so we'll bring in our early espresso. So I'm just gonna show you on my scrap here what I meant when I am stamping and I'm not gonna be die cutting. So I'm just gonna stamp it in the color I have right here. So I can stamp it. Now when I'm looking at it, and I want to stamp my little cattails here. I look for this and this, this and this, this and this, okay? Because that's where your cattail is going to go. So when I stamp that, I can do that. I can't believe this tore too. All right. So then when you go in, this is the one that faces up. And if you line that up, and I have a terrible glare here. 
you can get them pretty much where they need to go. But I have found when I'm stamping on here, it doesn't always work that way. So what I do is I look for the outline shape of my cattail. All right, I'm going to pull in a piece of white paper because there is such a bad glare. I think that's why I'm not getting my image stamped the way I want. Okay, so now when I look through again, I'm looking for this part of the cattail, this one, this one, so I can see kind of where that shape is. And I can get that pretty lined up. I do also find if I stand when I'm trying to line these up, I can see it better, especially during the video. And I'm just going to use all three because we're going to put one on the inside of the card. If it did turn out, I wouldn't put one on the inside, but they did, so we will. All right those there. I'm thinking I need to go back to my other tabletop because this is such a glare when I'm doing videos. I really do like to stamp on my glass mat and as demonstrators we can purchase these. I think they're going to be made available to customers soon but I don't know when. All right let's grab our piece here. I'm going to put a piece of paper behind because I just... That glare is awful tonight. All right, so I'm going to have one duck here, and I have one duck here. I did forget to stamp my circle, so let's get that stamped right away. I'm going to stamp Hello Friend, and I'm going to stamp that in my Early Espresso. You can choose whatever color you want. Now this circle again is from our Changing Leaves bundle. All right, and I'm gonna be putting that right up here. All right, so I kind of want my ducks to be like standing on that ribbon so they don't look like they're floating out in space. And I'm gonna be tucking in one there and one right here. So I wanna get them overlapping just a little bit, but I want the one behind the circle. So what I'll do first is I'm going to adhere that one down, take my liquid glue, and I'm just dotting the various pieces. All right, so I've got that one there. When I put my circle down, oh, I kind of smooshed it. I'm taking a look where this branch is, and I'm just going to put that right there. All right, give it a little, oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, don't worry, some of that will be hidden. I'm going to take my next, that's because I mounted this onto my cardstock before I was actually ready. Put that one right there. My duck, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. And I forgot to turn off my Do Not Disturb. I'm in this uh, Facebook group that constantly is posting things, and my notification is going off all the time. i got to turn off notifications for that group. So i got my two little ducks facing each other. We're going to go ahead and put on our hello circle. Hello, friend. Sorry. And now we'll do the inside of our card. So let's move that. We'll grab our five and a quarter by four inch piece. And I'm just going to take some adhesive here. And I do really want to make sure that I get adhesive on all the little different pieces so it doesn't come flipping up. But I just want to be careful I don't have too much because I don't want it gooshing out on me. And you can side it, add it to the right side or left side, whatever floats your boat. All right, now I can put this on the inside of my card. Oops. <coughs> Man, I am messy today. I'm a messy girl. Messy stamper today. Right, let's get that open. <coughs> and we'll 
I'll put that right on the inside. I love being able to stamp on designer series paper. I think it gives it so much more character. All right, so that is our second card. All right, on to our third card. Now this one has quite a few more bits and pieces to it. So let's just pull out what you have and your little envelope here. Now I have some of this already die cut um, so that I could do this faster. You have a piece of peach pie, a piece of pecan pie, a piece of pool party. You have um, style shaped circles, pool party and crumb cake. You have your crumb cake card base. Then you have a crumb cake um, layer, four by five and a quarter, which I've embossed with the swirly embossing folder. So that's this big one. What's nice about that is you can do two pieces at a time. All right, so that's gonna be on our front. Go ahead and hear that right away. Again, because it's so textured, I'd like to make sure I have enough adhesive so it will stay. And again, I'm just kind of giving it a nice little rub, get that glue out to those edges. Now our card is actually going to be going this way. Right. Then you have a piece of two by four designer series paper. And I'm just going to layer that onto a piece of pecan pie, which is two and one eighth by four and one eighth. I'm just gonna grab my seal here. I'm kind of tired of playing with glue and getting glue on my fingers. I'll layer that piece. All right. So that's going to go in the front just like that. Then we have another strip. Now everyone um, might get a different color strip. It be depends on where I cut on that sheet. So I'm cutting this piece of designer series paper so it depends on where it lands this is a three quarter inch strip and then i have a piece of pecan pie that is just an eighth bigger okay so we're going to go ahead and mount that and this is going to be longer than your strip of paper okay keep in mind that you want to have it a little shorter so let's see this actually needs to be and i forgot to do this measurement um Three and seven eighths is what you want this one to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my snips. I'm going to grab a. Can you see all the way down? No, probably not. I'm just going against my ruler here at the bottom and I'm marking three and seven eighths. Okay, so I just put a little dot there just so I can trim it. If you'd rather use your um, trimmer, feel free. Okay, and then I just need to cut this one at three and three quarters. So three and seven eighths, three and three quarters. And there's just gonna layer just like that right on there. So go ahead and put our adhesive on. Why aren't you rolling? Okay, come on. Kind of having a hard time getting that straight. Okay, so my one piece is a little bit long. I just need to trim that down just a little bit then. All right, that's going to go over here. Now, <clears throat> for this piece here, know which side is your bottom when you flip it over. And you're going to put your dimensionals on the bottom, all right? That is so you can get everything lined up right. All right. We're going to go ahead and adhere this. Again, I'm going to use liquid glue. And I'll show you why having that on the bottom is important. Squish it down. All right. Now, when I put this piece on here, what I'm going to want to do is kind of feel where that 
edge is and I'm only going to put my dimensionals up to that edge all right that's because I'm putting this circle on there and I don't want this to be so high that I have to pop this up with two dimensionals um, I only have to use one if I keep that down here I'm going to go ahead and just put my circle together <clears throat> just like that now for our die cutting I've already done this piece but I've taken my duck and my wings. Oh, where'd the wings go? Did I not pull them out? All right. So I cut the die, I cut the wing out of my pool party. So the duck out of pecan. The wing looks like this, so it has a wing and a beak. All right. And then I cut um, that same wing and beak out of my peach pie so I ended up with all my little pieces and where did they go okay let me just get them all here all right so here's my duck here's my wing and I have to grab my take a pick tool to get my little duck bill out all right so those are the three pieces now I'm going to just pop this little eye out <laughs> I'm going to poke his eye out there we go all right, let's put all these back in this container. I don't want to lose them. I have a small strip of, <clears throat> half inch strip of um, crumb cake here. And then I have a three quarter inch strip of my um, pecan pie. You're going to be trimming that down to fit. But when I get ready to stamp, I'll go ahead and show, share that with you. So I've got these cut. I don't have to get these done. All right, so let's get our little duck put together here. So what I need to do here, again, I'm bringing in my take a pick tool. I don't need this die. I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid glue and I'm just gonna put it right along the back here, okay? Then I'm gonna use my take a pick tool. Get that going the right way. So this is the direction you want it in. I can put that right there. And I'll just hold it for a second or two. All right <clears throat> now I'm going to take a little bit of glue again and I'm just going to put just a little bit on that beak all right and take my duck bill I'm going to turn my duck here so I can get it on there correctly oh. come on get on there I'm just going to hold it down for a second or two all right so now I got a cute little duck. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and put some dimensionals on it. I'm gonna put this right in the middle of my circle. <clears throat> I am gonna put dimensionals on the top part of my circle. Okay, so now when I flip it over, I can see my duck. So I didn't quite do the top quite right, but yeah, it, it'll be good enough. Because now, <clears throat> when I do this, I don't want that circle to slide down too far. So by only having the dimensionals there, it prevents me from going too far down. But it also kind of levels this out, so I don't have it so stacked up so high. Makes it e easier for mailing. You probably do have to use a hand meter stamp for this card, just because it is... Um, quite a few layers right so I'm just gonna put that on there we're going to bring in happy birthday and there's the stamp set stuck to the bottom of the dies okay happy birthday so got my happy birthday I'm gonna bring in my early espresso so again not using too many different inks so I used early espresso uh, misty moonlight mossy meadow and gray granite. I guess I used quite a few. I wasn't intending to, but <clears throat> all right. So now that I've got my happy birthday stamp there, I can actually just take this and add it right to my pecan pie strip. When I do that, I'm just going to give it like a little eighth inch border there. I may have to trim that down just a tad.
this quite a bit of more. And then I like to use my larger scissors when I do this. Or you can just leave it on that whole piece and just center it when you adhere it together. All right, <clears throat> we're going to take two dimensionals and put them on the left side. Because this is going to overlap onto that circle. Just a little bit. So depending on where you put your duck is really where that's going to be sitting. All right, let's do the inside of our card. Oh, we need to have some embellishments on here. So let's get our embellishments. And I see that I didn't add the embellishments to that one either. So let's go get those two um, decorated all nice and pretty. All right. So on this one, I'm just going to use, I really felt like these lighter ones were the way to go with this one. And depending on where your ribbon is, it's going to really depend on where your your um, embellishments will go. Oh, it's stuck to my fingers. All right. So my original card, I had them in different spots. Okay, let's get these embellishments on. Then we'll get the inside of our card done. So now, this one I just kind of mixed and matched. You can choose whichever colors you want to use, you know, whatever embellishments you have. And I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to put, where'd it go? There it is. Now again, I'm going to be layering it different than my original card that would be pictured in the tutorial. Just because of where I have things laid out on my card, that's all. Two. Let's see where I want to put another one. <clears throat> I want to have a one I feel like right here. And I just need one more. And I think just put this one. I don't want to put it there because I'll make it too high up. So, all right, we'll just put it right there. Okay, so I'll bring back in my original. So there's the original. There's the one that we just made. <laughs> original one I just made. And then, where'd the other card go? It was sitting right in front of me. Um, I don't know which is which. Original and one I just made. <laughs> they both look the same. So there you go. All right, so if you'd like to get the card kit for free as my thank you to you, place an order in my online store and let me get you the host code. Okay, so here is our host code information. Again, you'll get this um, three card kit for free as my thank you to you when you place a $35 retail order in my online store. Now that $35 cannot include shipping and handling and it is after a bonus code, a bonus coupon is applied. All right. So take care. Have a wonderful evening. I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I'll be popping in this weekend with some more designer series paper fun. Um, I've got some scrapbook pages planned. I just need to cut everything out so I can get that to you and share that with you. Um, this tutorial will be available with your cl your class order and then, well, with your retail order. And I think that is it. Yeah, make sure you're on my emailing list because tomorrow I'll be sending out the Craft Along sign up. And uh, yeah, if I think of something else, I'll just pop in and let you know. All right, take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.